It is an honor to speak to you today on behalf of my nation's Department of Correctional Services and on behalf of the government of the Republic of South Africa. It can be said today that all of us, by our presence here and our celebrations in this grand opening, are opening a way to glorious life for all humanity through the way to happiness. I strongly believe that my nation needs this moral code more than ever. It is for this reason that we welcomed an initiative introducing the way to happiness in our correctional system. It shows offenders how to live in harmony with fellow human beings. The success stories we receive every week from inmates speak volumes of the effects of this program. It has actually created role models who we are proud to have speak in public platforms on their success. Yet what speaks even louder is this. Not one of those who have done the Way to Happiness program and been released from prison has since returned. I'm very pleased to speak with you this evening from the American National Red Cross on behalf of our sister society, the Philippine National Red Cross. As I stand here, I feel the kindred spirit of a volunteer speaking to a movement of volunteers working on a very noble cause. The Philippine National Red Cross introduced the Way to Happiness as a part of their humanitarian mandate. The results have been tangible and significant. During a Philippine National Red Cross training session, in Mandanao, copies of this book were distributed to all attendees. Both Muslim and Christian participants agree that the way to happiness can facilitate a realization of peace between warring nations. In fact, one Muslim participant said, this booklet teaches us how to give honor and respect, but equally, it teaches us that this, this book shows us how to reach out to our brothers that want to fight with us. These programs now use the way to happiness in all Philippine Red Cross learning centers. Not only are we seeing a mutual respect and a newfound interest in education, but street fighting has become almost non-existent wherever the book and its precepts are used. As a newspaper publisher and a businessman, I know that our economic prosperity depends on peace, security, and stability for all peoples, Arabs and Israelis. The way to happiness has shown me a way to achieve these goals. When I first read the book, I felt that I got something that was missing in my life. At that time, I decided to give as a gift to my readers the gift I got from Mr. Hubbard. And we put a copy of the way to happiness booklet in the newspaper to all of my readers, together with a message from me. That day, after we finished the distribution to 90,000 families, some 300,000 readers, I felt like I was flying in the sky. It was such a relief to know that I did something good that will lead my readers to their own enlightenment, that will spread many good deeds all over the planet. We in the Middle East are sitting on the top of the biggest gunpowder barrel in the world. And it's threatened to explode any minute. It has been proven that no army can solve the problem. It does not matter how strong or what kind of weapons they have. We can solve the problem. We can solve the problem. Your humanitarian efforts in improving life are well known to many all over the world. Now, they have also become well known to many Palestinians. So, with the support of this foundation, more than one million copies of The Way to Happiness were distributed in Palestine and Israel. While we still have so far yet to go, 
it is making a big difference. I'm not dreaming. <laughs> yeah. For even, even during this last intifada, and for the first time in my life, I saw many Israeli Jews, young and old, men and women, who risk their own lives to support, help, and protect Palestinians. I'm sure that the way to happiness can play the role of rehabilitating both peoples. That's why I am very proud that the Ministry's Committee on Improving Education has directed all school counselors to teach the Palestinian children using the way to happiness. And I promise, I promise my support in bringing this wonderful booklet to every man, woman, and child in every land. Thank you very much. The whole concept of the program is great. It is so simple. It's, a co as it says, common sense to everyday living. Well, what's great is it's easy to read and understand. Uh, anyone from any race or uh, you know, ethnicity can read this in their language and understand. It's not complicated words. It's, it's, it's really basic stuff that makes sense to people. And this is a non-religious writing, and it can go into schools, and it can go to people, and it can put them there with a, uh, you know, a moral standard that's missing in society today. It doesn't compromise a person's existing religious beliefs or social status. And in a sense, it is all pervasive that whether you're a Muslim or Hindu, even a non-believer, it can make a very telling message that's relevant to your own circumstances. And I thought it was very interesting because you can tailor it for any organization, any city, or any group. And I thought that was a, a fabulous thing because, like I said, any person or organization can benefit from it. I've been able to use this book in my dental practice with my staff, with my patients. And our practice has grown to 82 staff members in my dental practice. So all of us applied, try to apply the principles in the way to happiness. And it makes a tremendous difference when you have people that can trust each other. It, it empowers them to be better people, get along better, well with, with each other, work a lot with foster children. And uh, it's a great foundation for them. Those are the principles that every kid should learn because that is going to have access to the way that you're going to live for the rest of your life. It's real exciting to see something that, that uh, will bring the moral issue back into reality that they can live by, something fruitful, something that they can feed on and, you know, give them uh, hope for tomorrow. What I've seen any time I've given someone the book internationally is the person looks at the book, looks through the book and says, this is what we need. I want this for my people. It's so, it cuts through anything and everything. I will take every step that I can to spread the words, to spread this book uh, uh, through the country of Iran to through via the Ministry of Education and the government. Now after seeing what the, uh, this program has done around the world, I am more excited to do it for my country and for my people. We need that type of thing because we look at for, for the future, for the children of the future and you know to get drugs and all the crime and criminal activities that are taking place in the world to get it out of society. There's just a million ways that the world affects us. And when you start taking responsibility for the world around you, things happen, think good things change. And you, you can affect people with this. And that, that's the power of it. And then people get it, they get it, and when they get it, it changes their life. How in the world could it not benefit not only myself, my organization, but the world? I believe that it can happen everywhere and it will really be a revolution. You know, things are happening and there is hope and it, obviously it's working. What's in this book is very, very basic. If we all just work together, we can absolutely change the world. <laughs>